All right, folks, welcome back to Prepping with Sarge. Today, we're going to review the Get Out Gear Trek Chair. I want to say a very special thank you to Get Out Gear for sending this out so that I could review it for you. This is a two-in-one system, so your trekking poles and your chair are going to work together to, to make a chair, and you can use the trekking poles separately, obviously. I left this tag on so that you could scan the QR code, which is assembly instructions if you wanted to look at those yourself. It does come with a warranty and it is adjustable and the incline can be adjusted to help you know find whatever support you need that makes sense for your back i'm going to show you that later on in the video here but this is a really nice system it's very compact and for you ultralight backpackers it comes in at only 1.4 pounds all of the packaging is very very small when it's when you put it back into the sleeves so it can go right into your backpack or you could strap it to the outside of your backpack if you prefer that as well. Let's go ahead and take the poles out here. And if you uh, have seen the self-assembling poles on tents, this is a very similar system. It is basically foolproof. Uh, it's very, very difficult to get this wrong. You may not even need to look at the assembly instructions, but basically I'm gonna show you here in another angle in just a second how easy it is to assemble these poles. And so that's what it looks like when the base is completed. And by self-assembling here, this is what I'm talking about. So the poles are attached and really all you're gonna have to do is make sure that they fit into their slots and they should snap right into place. But if you have any trouble with it, you can use that QR code to follow the assembly instructions. Let's go ahead and take the chair and the trekking poles out. Now the trekking poles attach to each other through these little clips here that I'm going to show you. Just makes it for easier storage. And to complete the assembly of the chair, what you're gonna end up doing is attaching those assembly poles, the, uh, those trekking poles to the back of the chair. And they're gonna slide right into these sleeves here that I'm showing you on the back side of the chair. You're going to put the handle up through there. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. And that is the back of the chair. Now, when you look at this, you may think that those that V section there is the back. That's actually the front of the chair. And this section here is the back of the chair. That's where the trekking pole bottom is going to slide into. So you're going to pull off this rubber stopper. And they're going to slide very easily into the bottom of the base of the chair. Just like that. And I'm going to show you here uh, that you want to make sure that the threads on the trekking pole are completely in there where my thumb is right now. I'm gonna show you a different angle here. So as I turn the chair on its side here, you can see what I mean. You really wanna make sure that those threads are all the way into that base. And then when, when that's done, you can put the rubber stoppers on the bottom of the trekking pole again. And see how it slides up there? You just slide it back into place. You want it to be, those threads to be fully pushed in and it should click right in like that. Okay, we're gonna stand it upright again. And then we're gonna attach the bottom part of the chair uh, by using those little sleeves there that I'm showing you to slide into that V section that I was showing you before. And you're gonna do that on both sides now. And your chair is nearly complete. And there, the chair is adjustable from the back here. I'm gonna show you that in a different angle. 
So we're on the back side of the chair now. And if you wanted to adjust the incline of your chair, you're just gonna use these extension clips and just lift it up to where you feel you're comfortable with it, whatever incline you prefer for your back. And these clips loosen and tighten very, very easily. You don't need any special tools. And there you go, you set it to, to the incline that you want. Now these trekking poles, let's take a good look at these here. So this is a whole uh, another advantage with these two-in-one systems, you're getting both really. So these trekking poles, I like them because they're, they're adjustable and the wrist strap is adjustable, but these also extend. Again, those same clips, you're just gonna loosen it up and extend it to whatever length you prefer. And again, the wrist strap is adjustable. And then of course, on the bottom of the trekking pole, if you're dealing with slippery surfaces like ice or mud, you can use the sharp end of that. Really nice trekking poles, it's a good system. And you can see that when it's um, not extended, it is very compact, easily could fit into your backpack or, or strapped to the outside of your backpack. And some tents actually can use these as well. Uh, there's some tent systems that use trekking poles to, uh, to, to lift up your tent. So I like this because if I'm foraging out in the woods, uh, you know, want to reach before I reach into a blackberry bush, we do have some venomous snakes here and I can poke around and uh, not make a fatal mistake, especially since I like to hike alone most of the time. You know, these trekking poles alone may be worth the price of admission with this system. And you can see you can make them pretty, pretty long, pretty extended if you wanted to. And the trekking pole bag I'm gonna show you here has a shoulder strap on the other side. So you could carry it just like that, or you could uh, of course strap it to your bag. I really like this system, I'm impressed. Uh, I will tell you that I was using one of the other models of um, you know, the regular camping chairs that most people have that are like an extent, they're, they're about the size of, uh, when, they're, when they're folded down, are about the size of a oversized golf umbrella. But this is much more comfortable. I'm really pleased with this. This is actually going to replace that. On my last trip out camping into the wilderness, I noticed that those old camping, the old style camping chair was really hurting my upper back. This one is much more comfortable. I love that I can set the incline the way that I want. I really like this system. So I'm gonna put a link for this in the description below. Of course, they are on Instagram as well. Please check out Get Out Gear, tell them Prepping with Sarge sent you. And let me know if you decide that you're gonna purchase one of these. Keep planting your seeds, keep stacking your silver. This is Prepping with Sarge.